What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at UPerfect's brand new 15.6 inch 1080p IPS display portable monitor. Now it has a 2000 to 1 contrast ratio, it has dual speakers that are 2 watts each, it also has a rotatable built-in stand that has a ambient light sensor in it for more immersion when you're doing things like playing video games. It also has a five point touch capacitive screen that you can use to touch just like you do your cell phone. It works PC, Mac, Chrome. Like I said, it also works with your Android phones as well. And it has 100% sRGB. So we're gonna go ahead and see what you get inside the box first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and test out the screen, see what you can do with it. Maybe test it with some video games, uh, computing, things like that so we know what it can and cannot do. Now you can pick this up offline right now. I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys wanna pick it up yourself. And if you guys like me and you wanna support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews to you guys. So first, let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so here is the monitor itself. We're just gonna put that off to the side just for a second to see what else we get in the box here. Looks like we get a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. We get another USB Type-C to USB Type-C. Here we have a USB Type-A to USB Type-C cable. It's a USB 3.0. And it looks like we also get a regular HDMI cable as well. We also get a 30 watt USB Type-C power adapter. And then here we have our manual. And here is our display. It's got a plastic cover on the top here. So we'll just peel that off. Very nice. That display looks really, really sharp. Can't wait to turn it on and see what it does. And then here on the back, as you can see, it's got its little stand. And there's the little ambient light in the middle there. So that is a pretty nice looking screen. It is made of all plastic. Um, it's not super heavy, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. If we look at the back here, it does have a built-in stand that you can rotate uh, 90 degrees, so you can have this screen in portrait or landscape mode. If you look at the side here, we have a USB Type-C for power delivery. We have a USB Type-C for data or picture, and then we have a USB Type-A on the bottom there. If we look at the other side, you can see a full HDMI right here. We also have a headphone jack that you can plug into. It has a little volume rocker or for other selections. And then here we have our power button on the side. And this little stain here can also pull out to adjust this from zero to 110 degrees viewing angle. And as you can see here, there is a little portion that you can extend out to adjust the viewing angle as well. And the portion here is metal. So it does have a lot of options as far as viewing angles. You can have it laying in landscape mode. Um, you can have it angled more towards your face or you can stand it up more upright if you want. Then if we rotate that stand, again, you can have this uh, in portrait mode and you can even stand it up a lot more if you want to. Pretty nice, stands really well, doesn't feel wobbly at all. Okay, so right now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the settings. Uh, but first off, I'm going to give you my first impressions of the quality of this panel. And I really have to say, I'm quite impressed. The picture quality is excellent. Everything is nice and crisp. The colors are really good. I don't really see anything to complain about. So that's definitely a plus. And even being only a 1080p, like I said, the picture is really crisp. And right now I do have it uh, connected up to my Xbox One. So just to give you an idea uh, you know, of what it looks like with gaming. And as far as the touch screen goes, just because this is capable of doing touch screen doesn't mean that it's gonna turn everything into a touch screen tablet. And for the touch screen to work, you're gonna have to use something other than HDMI. It's going to have to be uh, something used with the USB Type-C. So I have the Xbox connected with the HDMI to HDMI cable and like I said before it's not going to work with touch uh, because it's using HDMI but let's go ahead and go through the menu real quick so if we push in on the little control knob here it'll bring up the settings menu 
For the picture, we have control over the brightness and contrast. For the color, we can change the color temperature. Uh, we can turn HDR on, off, and auto. Here's size and power. We have aspect ratio, low power mode, and the lighting effect in the back. You can change uh, that color mode as well. We've got vivid, colorful, uh, and you can scroll through the different colors uh, that it is here. I like to keep it on vivid. And then we have the setup. We have our language, our signal source. We can change the H and V positions. We have the menu timer, audio volume, and a reset there. And then as far as the information goes, uh, right now it is on 1080p from the Xbox and it is at about 60 hertz. So that is pretty much it for that setup. And if you push, if you just don't push in on it, but you push up on the little volume knob here, it'll do the audio volume. And then if we press down, it'll do the brightness, right? Right now we are at 100% uh, and we're in my brightly lit studio and you can clearly see uh, everything on the screen very well so there's definitely no issues there so now we're going to play a little call of duty cold war we're going to see how good the input lag is during gaming and as you can see the screen quality is absolutely beautiful So I definitely don't notice any input lag uh, when I'm playing this game. And if there is any input lag, you really aren't going to notice it because it's so minute. So if you're gonna wanna buy this to play uh, games on uh, Xbox or pretty much any gaming system, first person shooters, it's gonna work out just fine for you. Okay, so now I have the portable monitor hooked up directly to my iMac using the USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. The iMac does have a Thunderbolt 3 port and it seems to work perfectly fine with that. Now this also should work the same way with MacBooks. So let's go ahead and see how well the touchscreen works. So as you can see, the picture quality is absolutely amazing. Let's see what it's producing as far as resolution. It should only be 1080p because that's all that this is capable of doing. There you go, 1080p at 60 hertz, perfect. So here I have my web page up, and as you can see, the touch is working just fine. So let's go ahead and click on something here. Let's go to our videos, and we will click on, we'll click on this one. So as you can see, the touch is working perfectly fine. There is a full screen YouTube. Touch is working amazing. No issues here. Yeah, there we go, 1080p. Picture looks amazing. You can also get out of that just with the touch there. So yeah, touch seems to work just fine. Let's see if we can pinch and zoom. No, pinch and zoom doesn't seem to be working for the web page. So scrolling doesn't seem to work with the iMac. Pinch and zoom doesn't seem to work. So it looks like the touch works, but there's no gesture support. And as you can see, the picture quality again is, it looks so sharp. The colors are absolutely amazing. They're very vibrant, but there doesn't seem to be uh, any other gestures when using touch connected to an iMac at least. Okay, so now I'm curious to see what happens if we connect it up to my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This does have DeX and it has screen mirroring capabilities. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the USB Type-C cable and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it does look like it goes right to screen mirroring. So let's see if it has any touch gestures. Perfect. So as you can see, you can swipe just like you would on your phone. You can bring up your apps, uh, your notifications. So it's just like you were swiping on your phone. Let's see what happens when we go to a web browser. Maybe we have some touch gestures. Okay, so here we have the Samsung website. It does look like it has pinched to zoom. 
See if we can scroll. We can scroll just as we would on the phone. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so the touch seems to be working uh, really well, well connected to the phone. Now again, your phone has to have this capability for it to work. It may not, it may or may not work with touch gestures, but at least you know if you are using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, it, the, it will work with touch and gestures as well. So now let's go ahead and turn on Dex. Let's see what that looks like. So here it looks like a, just like a regular computer. So if you want to use your phone on the go just with this tablet and maybe a power bank, you can do that. So here we have our settings. We'll go into that. Touch seems to be working just fine with that. This works just as well. Scrolling, perfect. Very nice. So we'll get out of that and we'll go to Google. Okay, we'll go ahead and make this big. Do a little search here. Okay, nice and big. Touch working beautifully. Awesome. Yes, we can pinch to zoom on the main page here. Scrolling works really well. And I'm just using the one finger with that. Pinch to zoom, beautiful. Great, so if you wanna use, if you wanna use this screen with your phone, if it has the capability, it's, even if you're using the Galaxy Note series or a Galaxy device that has DeX, know that it's perfectly fine just using it with touch. Everything seems to be working just great. Now, if you're wondering if your phone actually gets charged up while it's connected to the portable monitor, as you can see right there, there is a little lightning bolt. So it is charging your device while you're streaming or whatever onto your portable monitor. So you don't have to worry about your phone going dead in the middle of something. So I definitely do think that the ambient light in the back was a really cool idea, but the only way that you're gonna see it uh, at all is if you're in a totally dark room and you have the portable monitor up against a wall or something for the light to reflect off of. Now, as you can see, all I have is just a web page up, a Google web page, and you can just slightly see the light in the background. Now, if you have anything significant on the screen that has any brightness to it, it's going to wash out that light and you're really not going to see it that much. But again, I think it was a pretty cool idea. Now another really cool feature is the fact that you can plug in a keyboard or a mouse directly into the portable monitor and then again use that with something like DeX or your computer for a totally portable computer on the go. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. In the back here, it does have one USB 3.0 slot and I do have my little dongle for my Logitech mouse on there. And as you can see, I can use my mouse. Uh, with DeX, I am connected to my uh, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Again, we're in DeX mode and I can use my mouse. Now, if you were to have a keyboard and a mouse combo, you could use, a, you could use this again as a totally uh, portable computer system, which definitely would help people that are always on the go. Now this portable monitor also has some pretty good viewing angles. This is what you're gonna see from dead on. And I just wanna show you uh, what the picture looks like when we gradually turn the monitor. As you can see, it doesn't really dim uh, like some of the other monitors do uh, when you're rotating the screen from a certain angle. Now you're obviously not gonna <laughs> look at try to look at the screen from some of these angles, but again, I just wanted to show you how good uh, the viewing angles actually get. Like I said before, nothing really dims. You can still pretty much see, you know, what you can see on the screen. Not the best uh, viewing angle, but again, I just wanted to give you some idea of uh, what kind of viewing angles this portable monitor does produce. So another thing I was curious about is, can we make this monitor work with the Nintendo Switch, but totally portable? So here I have a power bank that has power delivery. I have my USB Type-C here that I'm gonna plug into my Nintendo Switch to see if it will power on or not. And as you can see on the back here, all I do have is the two USB Type-C's, one for the power and then one that's going into the Switch. So let's go ahead and see how well this does work. Here I have my Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. So there's the Switch, just powered on. And it doesn't look like, oh wait, I spoke too soon. 
just took a second. Perfect. So there you go. So you can use this totally portable with the Nintendo Switch and a power bank. And as you can see, it is actually powering up the Nintendo Switch while it's playing on here. So is it going to be touchscreen because it's using USB Type-C? No. So it doesn't have touchscreen capabilities, but it does still work. So one thing you will need to be mindful of is you can't use the Switch controllers connected to the Switch while it's connected to the portable monitor. All you need to do is use either take them off or use another um, uh, controller that's wireless. But as you can see, it is still working. So <laughs> that seems to be working pretty good. So if you want to use this with your Nintendo Switch, totally portable, you know that you can do it. Now as far as the sound quality goes, the sound is actually gets quite loud. So this is at 100% already and it's pretty loud and in a pretty quiet environment here in my studio. So at least you'll know that the sound quality or the sound volume does get loud enough to allow you to hear whatever you're watching or playing on the screen. Okay, so here I have the portable monitor hooked up directly to my tablet PC using only the USB Type-C cable. Notice that I don't have any other power sources. It is actually powering the display up all by itself, and I do have the displays extended. So, touch gestures kind of goes off screen, but uh, just know that at least the touch gestures are working here. If you want to scroll, you can do that too with one finger. Pinch to zoom is working as well. So it definitely will work great with uh, tablet PCs that have USB type C's and it should work just as well with your MacBook. Now, again, if your PC or whatever has touchscreen capabilities, then it should work just fine with the tablet here because you noticed before when I had it hooked up to my iMac the touch gestures were not working. The touch was but the gestures were not because the iMac doesn't have that capability but as you can see the PC does so I can pinch to zoom but as you can see the touch gestures are working uh, just fine with the tablet PC. So if you want to use this as a, as a portable monitor for your tablet PC itself uh, totally portable without any other power devices, know that that works just fine. The color representation is absolutely perfect. It looks exactly like my tablet's display does, nice and crisp, clean, vibrant pictures, so that's definitely a plus. Now it does look like you can bring up the uh, second button on PC with a tap of two fingers, but it doesn't look like it'll let you select things like you would as if you clicked and dragged uh, your your mouse so that's not working but the two finger tap to bring up the second menu does text also looks absolutely great on here even zoomed in very nice and clear one other thing to note is that when you're using the portable monitor with a tablet pc and you want to rotate the screen the screen will not rotate just because you uh, tilt the screen itself you're gonna have to go into the settings of the tablet pc and actually rotate the screen for the second portable monitor so i've been using this monitor now for the past week and i really must say it's it's a really nice portable monitor as far as the build quality goes it is made of all plastic but it doesn't feel super cheap and that also keeps it nice and light because uperfect does make a uh, really nice monitors but they also make some that are made of uh, metal and they're a lot heavier than this one so plastic isn't necessarily a bad thing and it, it definitely keeps down on the weight especially if you're going to be using it on the go now another really nice thing that they did here is they put all of the connections in the back of the monitor so it keeps everything uh, nice and tidy you can't see it right now but in the back all i have is my 
uh, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and a power bank connected. And as you can see, you can't see any wires because everything is nicely uh, connected into the back. And there are no other wires connected to this. It does not connect to the wall. So you can use this as a totally portable unit. And I know I've said it before, but the picture quality in this thing is absolutely amazing. Even though it is a 1080p screen, it looks beautiful. The picture is nice and crisp. The, the colors are very vibrant, as you can see uh, from right here. Really nice. And that touch touch screen definitely makes it uh, really great too, especially if you're using with a device that can take advantage of that touch screen. And as you saw from before, this is great for gaming as well because of that 60 hertz. And there's pretty much no lag that I could actually see uh, when I was playing video games on this portable monitor. So if you're going to want to use it for gaming, I think it's going to be great for you. The only thing that you might not really care about is that ambient light. Like I said, it was a good thought. Um, it really isn't bright enough to really immerse you into the game because again you're going to be paying more attention to what's on the screen versus uh, the little light that is kind of around the portable monitor definitely not a deal breaker and of course if you're going to want to go for a portable monitor you're going to be more concerned with the picture quality and things like that which this definitely has and if you worry about it being bright enough to be able to be seen in a very bright lit environment right now i'm sitting in front of probably three uh, studio lights and it is super bright and the portable monitor does have the brightness up to 100% as you can see you can see it just fine it's also slim enough to fit right behind another laptop or a tablet that you put in your book bag which makes it even easier to carry along. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a touchscreen 1080p portable monitor. And I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick it up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.